All right, guys, this is Doug. I'm here to show you how to change the brakes on a 1993 Chevrolet Silverado. We're going to take it step by step and go through this bad boy. And this is rated M for moderately difficult. I highly recommend getting one of these jacks right here. You're going to want to go ahead and lift the vehicle off the ground take the wheel off. This video is not going to show you how to take a wheel off because if you don't know how to do that, this is not the job for you. You're going to need some tools on this bad boy and I recommend getting a six inch C-clamp. I picked this up from Lowe's today for about 10 bucks. Hammer. You can never go wrong with one of these. And there's my mom and a screwdriver and maybe a mom to help out with getting you some beer and ice cream when you need it. You're also gonna to wanna to get the right materials, which would include these brake pads. I got these from AutoZone. You can get them from O'Reilly, Pet Boys. These ones right here are Duralast. Just ask your guy behind the counter which one to get. Also make sure you pick up a packet of brake this. It's gonna be a new rotor package in there. We'll come and get this out later, but this is pretty easy to open up. I want to go ahead and take this off. This is the hex bolt right here. I recommend taking this guy off right here. Really easy. Set that to the side. That's not gonna be in the way when you try to get that bolt off. You got the first top one off. You're gonna come down here and get the bottom one off. See this right here? Get your little screwdriver in there. There you go. Just a little rubber guy right here. Comes off really easy. I recommend an Allen wrench, a hex bolt. I recommend a socket if you have one, but if you don't, like me, this will get you by. Come on in. We're just gonna put it right in here. And, see, it's in there, ready to go. Now, I recommend a cheater. A cheater is something that's gonna give you a little more torque and not cause you to put too much um, pressure that's gonna throw your back out or anything like that. So here's my cheater. This little piece of pipe right here, saw it up. You can make as many as you want of these. Come in here. You're gonna apply pressure up. This is the part where we're gonna go ahead and just torque these bolts off. Try to find the right camera angle here. Okay, that one's on there tight. So, make sure it doesn't fall off there, so you're gonna bust your knuckles and break some parts. There we go. That thing's been on there for a while. Now that you got this loose, you could probably crank it by hand pretty soon. This one's gonna be a little bit more work on here. Okay, it's moving. We'll come back, but you get the idea. All right, so now we're at the point where it can be twisted out by hand. You're just gonna pull this bolt out right here. Be careful not to do any damage to the brake line, as that, you don't wanna mess that up. So this is gonna be coming out by hand pretty easy. It's a pretty long bolt pretty deep thread pattern and it's stuck predictable so I'm gonna come back in here get our Allen wrench keep coming stuck again this happened before all right so when it gets stuck like that and you've already unthreaded it make sure you get a, just a flathead screwdriver and you're gonna lightly tap this thing out here to the point where you don't want to knock over your camera. There we go, HD, see that? But we're gonna come back for that one a little bit later, okay? We're gonna leave it there. We're gonna now do the lower one next.